When I was 30, my father and I went to the store one day to buy a movie for us to watch. And that's when he came across this cover. I remember how mysterious this cover was. Even knowing that it was an anime, nothing would prepare me for what was to come. Like many, in the beginning what caught my attention the most was the fights and the explosions. So I decided to make a video showing the weapons of Evangelion and its inspirations in real life. Before we get started, I would like to thank these two sites, Internet Movie Firearms Database and EvaWiki, for providing the majority of the information. I will leave both links in the description, so go check them out. Tsuko carries with her a revolver R-92, originally intended for Soviet security in the 90s. It was originally created for police use, but it was a failure as Russian policy agencies preferred semi-automatic pistols. It is unclear how Hitsuko acquired such a rare and unique weapon, but it sure is a peculiar choice. In the manga we see a modified coat revolver being used to assassinate Kaji. In the same scene, we see Gendo using an CZ-75B, which is a semi-automatic pistol produced by Kzep Firearms manufactured Kzep. It was first introduced in 75. It is widely distributed around the world and being the most common weapon in Kzep Republic. English Browning High Power is one of the most widely used military pistols in history, having been used by the armed forces of over 50 countries. The version used by the JSSDF or Japanese Strategic Self-Defense Forces was manufactured in Canada by John English. The Glock 17 is seen as the main weapon carried by Nerf. Glock is a series of semi-automatic pistols with a polymer frame. The pistol entered the Austrian military and police service in 82. After having performed best in reliability and safety tests, it can also be seen in the manga being used by Japanese forces and replaced by what I believe be a Beretta M9. Major Misato Katsuragi's weapon, unlike most of Nerf, does not use Glock 70 Standard Edition, possibly because she is head of the tactical division. Heckler & Coach USP, or a Nivelsol self-loading pistol, is a semi-automatic pistol designed by Heckler & Coach, with German origin still manufactured today, being made with the purpose of replacing the P7 series of pistols. Type 100 was a Japanese submachine gun used during World War II and can be seen in the episode 4 used by Kensuke and has said in the show it is a replica. Seen briefly in the episode 23, the Nerf team appears armed with the Hackler & Coach MP5, which is a very famous German submachine gun developed in the 60s. It can also be seen in the Nintendo game I&M Rising Project. 
Nerf security guards use the MEI Uzi as their standard weapon. The Steyr MPI-69 submachine gun was developed by the Austrian company Steyr Daimler Punch during the early 60s. According to Evangelion Chronicle 22, Alba personally submachine gun is a hybrid consistent of parts of Steyr MPI-69 and the Russian IK Kashtan. Kashtan is a Russian submachine gun manufactured in 94 and produced until 2006. Kensuke Aida also owns a replica of Dragonov SVD. Dragonov SVD rifle is a semi-automatic rifle for snipers produced in Soviet Union. We also see Aida carrying an M60 in the manga instead of a Type 100. In the 80s, the US Army launched the ACR program, the Advanced Combat Rifle Program, in an attempt to replace M16. I love this shit. <laughs> this gun reached the finals. They are The Steyr weapon, also a bullpup configuration, is the simplest design of all the prototypes. Steyr, using darts of ammunition, ended up being discarded because it was too expensive. The Heckler and Koch prototype, like the AAI, fires a three-round salvo burst. The advanced G11 is the standard weapon of the elite commands that invaded Nerf in the end of Evangelion. The weapon also fires single shot, or fully automatic, at 400 rounds per minute. Due to complexity, heating problem and its high production costs, the project ended up being abandoned. Single row magazine located on top of the weapon holds 45 rounds. In the manga, we can see two models of the weapon, K1 and K2. In drafts, we see the MP5 and FMG9 being considered for use. AAI's prototype fires three distinct rounds in a high-rate salvo burst. This weapon fired arrows and was also gas powered. It was discarded. The Colt weapon has evolved from the M16A2 design. With duplex ammunition, which basically consists of two bullets on the top of each other, it was discarded. The M2 flamethrower was a flamethrower weapon used primarily by the US Army during World War II. Recaola's anti-tank gun developed between 78 and 85 used by GSSDF soldiers, right before Misato's death. The most common tank in the series is the Type 74. It was originally designed during the 60s. It has a chin armor which made the tank almost obsolete even before the first production models came off. The French tank destroyer and a recon vehicle. Several of these can be seen in the end of Evangelion being used by GSSDF force. Soviet Yak-38 is a fighter plane for 1971. Kensko refers to it as a modified Yak-38 or a special. The suggestion that Skagit's Yak-38 is a heavily modified or custom-made variant of the Yak-38. The CH-53E is a large helicopter based on the former CH-53. It has a large internal and external load capacity. His make appearance in the episode 12. The Su-33 is a Russian Navy fighter first introduced in 1994. 
It can be seen primarily in the episode 8. As stated before, the Steyr ECR or pallet rifle, as called in the series, is a real weapon that is increased in size to fit the Evas. It is never shown reloading, so the Evas simply drop them when they run out of ammo, nor is it shown ejecting spent cartridges, implying that unlike the real ECR, pallet rifles use unboxed ammo. It apparently fires explosive projectiles and is shown to be useless, so each of its appearances, except episode 11. Some conceptual arts claim that it is an electric cannon that fires uranium projectiles. The main plot device for episode 9 is the Positron Rifle a prototype energy weapon under development by the JSSTF. It is requested by Nerf and rebuilt for ever use, with the resulting weapon apparently based on the anti-tank rifle PTRS-41, that was produced and used by the Soviet Union during World War II. The weapon is also used in episode 22, but it apparently without his national blackout requirement. Ray's EVA unit is seen in two occasions, episode 16 and episode 23, with a sniper rifle based on the Accuracy International Arctic Warfare, alongside some alterations. The most prominent difference between the real rifle and around the EVA version is that the later is semi-automatic. The Arctic Warfare is one of the most used sniper rifles platforms in the world, and its projectiles are extremely lethal, even from over a mile away. Positron rifle is a shoulder-mounted weapon, capable of firing rounds into low Earth orbit. It is not a very mobile weapon, as relies on external power capable to function. It is used as finite amount of ammunition, about 8 rounds. We see two versions of the weapon, the long range with a scope and a short range from the hip. Episode 16, Stingy Eva's unit is seen using a weapon that appears to be a giant desert eagle, and completely unaltered, with even the inclusion of telescope mounting rails. It's used once and it's never seen again, only appearing in the, the last year of Yoji Kaji art book. Asuka Eva Unit 02 is seen with a magazine repeating rocket launcher on two occasions, episodes 18 and 19, while fictional have certain resemblance to M18 recoilless rifle used by the US Army in World War II and the Korean War. shell but not taken. Considering that it was never explained why the original gun was called a pallet rifle of all things, the production team probably just simplified it to assault rifle. Thunder Spear is a weapon that appears to be arranged but it's a melee, 
is only seen once in the Mighty's battle. Super electromagnetic crossbow is used by EVA-02 against the Seven Angel. As originally conceived, the weapon utilizes the EVA's AT fuel for propulsion of its projectiles. However, this was changed to electromagnetic propulsion during EVA's two cross production. The T-80 is a Soviet main battle tank developed from the T-64. It entered service in 1976 and it was the first production tank in the world using a gas turbine engine. The BM-30 Smurge is a Russian-built multiple rocket launcher first designed in the 80s. The iconic M270, often referred to simply as the MLRS, is an American-made rocket artillery. Northrop Grumar B2 Spirit, also known as a Stealth Bomber, is a strategic stealth bomber from the United States designed to penetrate dense anti-aircraft defenses without being detected. A twin-seat fighter bomber of the Russian Air Force, it first flew in 90s and entered production in 2004, incorporating design aspects from the other Sukhoi fighters. The BDF A-40 Albatross or Mermaid is a jet-powered flying boat built for the Soviet Navy for anti-submarine warfare. It first flew in 86 and shortly after the first flight the project was cancelled. The Loon class Ekraplan or Duck is a jet-powered seaplane built for the Soviet Navy. It is equipped with six guided missiles mounted in tubes on the top of the fuselage and entered service in 87 with a total of one build. The P3 Orion, built by Lockheed Martin, is a turboprop marching aircraft that is used by Marine Patrol, intelligence gathering, anti-submarine and anti-ship warfare. First, I would like to thank you to get to the end of this video. I know that my English is not the best and I will try to get better. I'm going to leave all the stuff that I use it in the description, so go check them out. And I have a Patreon too. If you like, want to support me, it would mean everything to me. So this is it. God bless you and see ya.